Hey there, good morning, and welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Today we're going to be taking care of a little bit of an issue I've been having with my JK. I've been getting a little bit of death wobble in certain situations. So today we're going to be replacing the tie rods and drag link ends and the steering stabilizer as well. Like I mentioned, in certain situations I'd get a little bit of uh, death wobble, and it was primarily when I was towing something or hauling my dirt bike on the back end of the Jeep. I think it was just enough weight to lift the a little bit of weight off the front end so the front end was kind of like, hey, I got all this play. Checking the tie rods, I'll show you. I've got a lot of play in the tie rods. The ball joints I think are good. Let me show you those real quick. Now with the Jeep off the ground with a couple of jack stands safely supporting it on the axle, get a pry bar underneath the wheel. And you can see if I move it up and down here, I get very little movement in that ball joint. But now the tie rod here, look at this. The tie rod and steering stabilizer. It is just flippy floppy loose. Same thing with the drag link. These ball joints or these uh, tie rods on the end are just shot. I have the stock steering stabilizer on here. We're gonna be upgrading all of this. So when you start putting larger tires on your vehicle to get better ground clearance, those stock tie rods and drag link ends, they just can't handle the extra weight of that and torque. So we are upgrading to a much beefier tie rod end and drag link. This is also a much heavier duty steering stabilizer. All of these products, I will link in the description below of what I'm using. This drag link and tie rod end is actually from a rock jock. The first step is to get your Jeep up on some jack stands supported by the axle and you want your wheels to be straight. Next, we're gonna take both wheels off. Next, we're gonna remove the stock steering stabilizer, 18 millimeter bolt on the backside there. And this 18 millimeter bolt here comes out. Can't quite get the other bolt out. I mean, we could take a sawzall, cut that off if we wanted to, but we are gonna be removing the uh, tie rod anyways. When we put this back together, we'll remember to get that bolt in first. And the other thing we could do if we were just doing the steering, steering stabilizer, we could uh, jack up the frame of the Jeep. That'll drop that uh, tie rod down and we can get that bolt out. But right now we wanna leave everything in the same orientation because we gotta get measurements of everything, keep our steering wheel straight. I don't wanna mess up any of the alignment. Now we can go around to all four tie rod ends or what, two drag link, two tie rod, whatever. Should have done this a little while ago, but we're gonna hit these with a little bit of PB blaster. Loosen them all up. This is a uh, seven millimeter Allen wrench, fits pretty good. And then this is 13 sixteenths which fits on there just about right. And we're gonna mess up our straight wheels, but we'll get those straightened back out. Let's see if we can break this loose. I'm sure that PB Blaster's had plenty of time to work, right? But it's not spinning. And we're not gonna take this bolt all the way off. We're gonna take it 90% of the way off, leaving a few threads, and then we'll strike the steering knuckle here. Let's see if we can get this tie rod to just pop down. Oh, that PB blaster did the trick, huh? Now the last one here at the Pittman arm, uh, we want to be a little careful with it. We'll go ahead and take the nut off, you know, 90% of the way like we did the other ones. We'll strike into the Pittman arm a little bit, but we don't want to be banging on it too much because uh, it's attached to the steering box. We don't want to mess up the steering box at all. So we might get a pickle fork in here and separate it. Uh, we don't care about damaging this uh, ball joint here, this uh, tie rod or drag link end because we're replacing it. So, but just be careful of your Pittman arm. I'd be lying if I didn't say that Pittman arm nut, that was a pain. So instead of beating on that Pittman arm anymore, I don't want to damage it. I decided to stop. Let's do it the right way. Ran down to the auto parts store, their tool loaner program. Got myself a Pittman tie rod puller. So this will clamp onto the top of that uh, ball joint on that uh, end of that drag link and it'll push it right off. One thing I've learned over the years, don't do it the hard way, do it the easy way. Which brings us to today's sponsor of today's video. If you have not ever used one of these portable jump starters, this is so handy. This video is sponsored by JF 
Egwo 4000 amp battery jump starter. I have used jump starters like this numerous times. And let me tell you, they are so, so much easier than regular jumper, jumper cables. This unit is all fully charged. Let me show you how it works real quick. You find yourself in the need of a jump start. You simply plug your jumper cables into the side of the unit here. We're gonna click the power button. There's a nice display here. It tells me it's 99% charged. The number of watts it's detecting right there. We're simply gonna clamp the positive onto the positive and the negative onto the negative, and you're ready to jump start. Easy as that, so much easier than using regular jumper cables, and best of all, you don't need another vehicle to do this. You can be stranded by yourself, jump start yourself. So handy, I always carry one of these. Product link in the description below. Okay, I got that puller on there, but I need to get a better angle at it. I think from up here, this fluid reservoir, coolant fluid overflow reservoir just pulls straight up. Get this out of the way and don't spill it. Oh yeah, there it is. Whew, all right, we got it. Let me show you my little setup here. Got my half inch socket with some extensions and a crow foot on the end there. Was able to reach down, get the tip of that puller and was able to pop the end of the tie rod off there. And there it is. So that drag link to the pitman arm, be prepared for a little bit of a battle. And we'll clean all the grease off the old knuckles here. All right, there we go. Old tie rods and next to the new. So the next thing we got to do is get these all measured up so they're exactly the same length. But honestly, I've got some other responsibilities, some other things I got to go take care of. So I'm going to wrap this video up for now. The installation video will be in the next one coming up soon. Check that out right here. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Cool. We got it done. Well, halfway done. <laughs> <laughs>